What's going on with y'all fam? Back with another message. Back with another video. Y'all tap in, tune in, lock in, hit subscribe, man. Appreciate all the love and support, all the prayers. Everything you guys do for me, man, behind scenes. I love you guys. I thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me, man. If you're new to the channel, you don't know, I am an artist. I have music available on all platforms. I've recently released my latest album, Hidden Hills. It's available everywhere. I would appreciate all the love and support on that. Go check out my clothing, my merch. All that stuff is down below. If you want to connect to me on Instagram, whatever the case may be, you can find all that in the description box. Today's message and video is to help those out there who are struggling with fear. Fear, fear, fear. Right, and I'm gonna try to just let the spirit flow and things I've learned, you know, um, throughout my journey and my process as best as I can with this video. Usually I'll write some stuff down, you know, so I don't get too sidetracked. But I know a lot of people that I've come in contact with have so much potential in their life. They have such a testimony. They have so much to give in order to give glory up to God, right? And to serve others and to restore people and push people back to Christ. But the one thing that stops them more than anything is fear. And we all struggle with it, myself included, fear, right? A lot of times we hear faith over fear, faith over fear, right? And this is just the truth though. It sounds cliche, but it's simply the truth. And I don't know, I'll give you three to five ways that I was able to overcome fear, right? It wasn't on my own, I can say that. That's the first thing. It's not gonna be on your own strength. You gotta rely on God to push you through that fear of what people think about you, what you're deciding to do with your life now. I don't care what area of life it is that God is trying to work on you in, whether that's your you know, business, your, your family, your relational life, your spiritual health, your mental health, physical health. He may give you instructions that are uniquely tailored to you and people will try to begin to instill fear or the enemy himself will begin to try to attack you and make you fearful of taking the necessary steps. You see, and it's funny how God got me through fear with this channel for the first time, right? I felt this calling. I felt led to just turn my camera on one day after I've, um, I have I received the Holy Spirit and I started to get into the, um, commune with God. And I was so scared. I was terrified, right? I was like thinking everything under the sun. But see, God actually used fear to push me past fear, if that makes sense. I was so I was so scared at one point because of the activity that was going on in my life, because of the doors and things I did in my own life, right? The demonic stuff that was going on, the things I was battling with, spirit of suicide, depression, all this stuff. I was absolutely in, in fear for my life. And that's what actually got me to turn the camera on and begin to speak was the fear of me potentially dying and nobody knowing. So I wanted to document, you see, and God used that to push me into purpose. As crazy as it sounds, there was only one way to get past that fear, and it was fear for me. And then I always became faith, right? But a lot of us as believers are hindered by fear and people pleasing. We're scared. It's just, it's just, it's, it's what it is, right? It's the flesh. It's a lot of spiritual intimidation. It's a lot of, um, you know, Satan operating in various different places. You know, keeping you in the limited and lack mindset keep you thinking what this matrix wants you to think you're nobody you're just another number sit down shut up go eat your food go to work go home you're not here to do anything nobody wants to hear your story you don't matter all these things right and you see and i want to just encourage people and motivate people i've always been this guy to push people into their own unique callings and passions and purpose in life and let god get the glory through it testify tell people your story you know give give glory to god for what he is has done already and what he is doing and what he's gonna do you know let's restore that in people you know and the way i was able to do it like i said it's kind of it's kind of unique for me but the only way i was able to get past fear was fear right and the second thing i can say is an ego death i had to go through an ego death i had to go through many ego deaths right especially as a man retention testosterone all these things start to happen for you you start to get a little pride you got the knowledge of christ you got you're walking with god you get a little prideful you know and um you know you can you can um start to begin to feel a certain way you have to go through an ego death to to, to get over fear of what men and women think there was times in my life where i had to go grocery shopping and i didn't i wasn't able to shower for three to four or five days no haircut not able to groom myself, still had to go out in public 
this was God. Ultimately, you know, God didn't want that for my life, but he was, he uses everything for the glory of him and, and the goodness of him, right? Romans 8 to 8. So I was going through these things, right? And I really, he got me to a point and place of where I just didn't care about anything, even myself, nothing, nothing. I didn't care. I, I just had to, I had to get through it to, you know, go through it to get to it, to push me past a fear point. You know, we always kind of naturally have this as the chosen one. We saw it's, it's kind of already built in us since we were kids. We're already kind of the black sheep, unique, different. We've already started to challenge the system when we were younger, challenge the family traditions, think outside the box, think deeper, like deep conversation, think about spiritual things, think about the afterlife. All these different things are kind of implemented when we're younger, but we can still be halted by fear and people pleasing a lot of the times. You see, and that's why a lot of these people don't like you. The minute that you push past fear, when you actually break through the barrier of fear, you're going to notice, you know, how big of a problem it becomes for the kingdom of darkness and those who are still operating in insecurities and brokenness and all this other stuff. And you see, the saddest part about it is, is these same people who are supposed who have broken through fear and now are trying to pull people through the fire. A lot of the times the people that they're putting their hand back into the fire to are going to bite their hand and get upset at them. It's something I got to accept and learn, too. I've tried to motivate so many people in my life, literally push them into their own unique calling and purpose and speak life into them and, and try to just pour into their cup. And it left me empty, dry, distracted, broken, outside of my own purpose, starting to get back into fear myself. So it's a fine line, but we are here to push people into faith and to get over fear. And that's the one way you're gonna have breakthrough in life, chosen one. It's the only way that you're gonna have breakthrough in life. You know, I'm starting to learn more and more. The more that I feel, the minute that you begin to feel fear, take that as a confirmation that you're on the right path. Anytime you start to feel that resistance or that pushback, anytime you start to feel them intrusive thoughts or the doubt or the fear and all this stuff trying to like suffocate you and, and keep you down and keep you in a place of not doing what God wants you to do or what your soul feels like you're here to do, take that as confirmation. Take it as confirmation and begin to battle it with your faith and what God says. God will lead you through the valley of shadow of death. You know what I mean? You got the full armor on. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God knows your heart. It's not about what man thinks. It's not about the outward. All these different scriptures that you can really start to get into to renew that mind and start to walk in faith and boldness. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a peculiar, you know what I'm saying? Nation, kings, queens, anointed, protected, blessed, favored, and anyone that wants to challenge that in any type of way, whether that's spiritually, physically, mentally, right? Kill them with fear. I mean, kill them with faith. Kill the fear with faith. The fear that they're trying to implement onto you through projection, the intimidation, all this stuff that can go down. Those around you who are in small minds, mindsets still, lack mindsets, allowing the system to groom them, allowing their pain to, to instead of pain birthing purpose, they're taking pain on as their identity now all this stuff that can happen when you begin to walk in faith you got to understand what it is it's an agenda the enemy wants all of us in fear well i don't know i don't know what my mom i don't know what my friend's gonna do. i don't know i don't know and we can all be guilty i'm not trying to make nobody feel bad i'm just trying to convict i'm trying to convict self too i rewatch my videos when i get into low places you better believe it right we got to have that fear that fear has to go we got to kill that fear at all costs faith over fear and the only way i was able to do this like i said i had to go through an ego death god had to humiliate me in public right i had to go through so many different little things and i just had to take the, the, the punches on the chin and this got me to step out and start to be more and more and i'm and it's still happening every day right it's never ending i'm starting to become more bold i'm starting to um you know not care what people are going to say or think about me the attacks that happen and it gets vicious I got narcissists attacking me left and right in the spirit realm, witches and warlocks. I got feminists who hate me because I speak against the Jezebel spirit. I'm setting people free with my messages and my videos and pointing them to Christ, right? I'm planting seeds within them that's ultimately getting them set free, I should say. You know, all these things that take a lot of faith, a lot of courage, a lot of boldness that a lot of people get stuck. You know, they, they feel a little bit of that resistance. And this is sometimes your enemies. Your enemies sometimes have been called by the Most High and they started to get that pressure put on them. They started to realize people switch up and they were like, oh, no, 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 I don't want this. I still want the matrix. I still want this world. I still want the ways of this world. I don't want to be hated for his name's sake. 
right? I don't want to have all the, I don't want this. You see, we got to surrender and we got to really pick up our cross and do this for him and to birth, you know, purpose for the kingdom. Bring the kingdom back to earth while we are here. Establish that. I've had so many people do that for me through YouTube. I never attended a church. I never did it. It was through YouTube. YouTube actually transformed my life. Some people that God has used. That's why this platform is so powerful. And that's why people on this platform get hated the way they do. The devil does not want Christians on here speaking the truth, the real truth, prophesying and giving, restoring hope and getting people to tap into purpose and getting past fear and getting past people pleasing and getting past all these different things. Because the agenda, especially on the internet, is very clear, right? Very, very clear. Toxicity, pump and dump, lust, promiscuity, all this stuff. That's the agenda online. So it's very, very, uh, it takes a lot of faith and courage to get past fear when you start to step out and do certain things. I don't care if it looks like you starting a platform, giving your testimony out, or you attending your church and you getting up and speaking or, or whatever the case, however it looks for you, it's all uniquely tailored for each and every one of us as the chosen. But in, in, in order to receive real breakthrough in your life, you have got to get past fear of what man and woman think. And when you do, when you do, you will begin to see who's really for you in your life and who's really against you. Right? You'll begin to understand things on a deeper level. You'll understand who was in your life for, you know, the sin that you had or in a lack mindset you had and how controllable you were and how comfortable they were with you. And then you'll, you'll start to see people who are actually there to, um, you know, they want to see you win. They want to see you step out in faith and defeat fear and smack the devil around for, for the kingdom of God. Right? And all these different things, you know, that happen when you start to walk in faith over fear. Regardless, we got to remain in Christ and we got to allow his word to fuel us when we start feeling doubt and fear. We got to remember what he says. Touch not mine anointed, do my prophet no harm. I know there's a lot of women out there who were called by God who remain silent because they're scared. A lot of intimidation tactics can happen. A lot of manifesting can go down around them that causes them to remain silent. They don't want to give their testimony, they don't want to speak. You know what I mean? Because the enemy has them in a place of fear. You know, same with men too. It's not off limits for men, you know. But we got to get past fear with faith man a lot of things have to happen you know this anointing is not something that a lot of people are able to step into and, and receive it's freely given salvation is a free gift right but the anointing to actually get past certain points and places where 90 percent of people don't they never get past it you know it takes some work that's why i say faith without works is dead a lot of people want to just push oh well god is no you got to put the work in man you can't sit on your couch eat potato chips and think that God's going, you know, no, it's not how it works. You got to take action based on your faith. God's calling you to share your testimony. What do you got to do? You got to share your testimony. You got to get past fear. You got to get past doubt. God's telling you to pray for this person or do this or to go here or do that. You got to get past it with faith. It's the only way to receive breakthroughs in, the, in this world, especially in the, in the times we're in with the darkness that's all around us. You know, so I want to just encourage people, man. And people that know me behind scenes know that I'm this guy off camera too. I'm always trying to speak into people's purpose, passion. Whatever God has for them in their life, I'm trying to push them into that. You know? And I appreciate everybody on here who, who has helped me in times of weariness and struggle and, and all this different stuff where I'm like, you know, not necessarily fearful. I never really, I've kind of always been a little too bold at times, even when I was in the world. You know, and God used that. But... I appreciate the people who have been there and I want to be there for others. And like I said, people who know me off camera, they know, you know, and a lot of the times I've tried to speak into people who I thought were somebody, you know, that was, that was, you know, they had a purpose for God or, or whatever the case may be. And a lot of the times, you know, I end up finding out they begin to manifest on me as, as I speak into them, you know, and that, that's another thing that may begin to happen, right? And it just shows you. It just shows you how powerful it is when you really walk in faith. You walk in boldness. You walk in uh, confidence. Confidence in Christ. Who you are. What God is doing. You don't have to be perfect. You don't got to be perfect, man. And anybody that is not on board with you right where you're at, right? Because Christ is on board with you right where you're at. Religion will tell you different. But Christ is right on. He's right there with you. 
right where you're at in life. I don't care if you're still in addiction and lust and all these other things. He can, he's going to be right there with you. And if there's anybody that wants to challenge you in the place that you're at, if you're stepping out in faith and starting to speak about what God is doing, educate people on certain topics that are being suppressed, all this other stuff, you got to get rid of these folks. These people want to plant and instill control and fear into your life for the rest of your life and keep you stagnant and keep you stuck. They don't want you to receive all that God has for you, man. So get away from these folks. Let's get into faith, man. Get into faith. You know, a lot of people think, this last thing I'm going to say is a lot of people think faith just means you believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, 100%. That's what faith is. But faith goes so much deeper. Faith is, there's levels to faith. And I've learned that. There's so much level. There's so many levels. The first level, obviously, is to understand who God is. To believe in Jesus. To believe that he died on the cross. To believe he rose again. 100%. But then you can go deeper, man. You go deeper and deeper and deeper and you understand, you know, you start to begin to have faith in him, you know, in your life, through your life and allowing him to work through you. The kingdom of God is within you, right? You got to start tapping into deeper levels of this stuff, you know, because there's a lot of people who they got stuck. Like I said, that stay stuck in life. They just say, I believe in Jesus Christ and they, they don't, they're in, a, they're in the same cycle that they that their family's been in for 150 years. They ain't doing nothing in faith. They ain't taking no bold, you know, actions out of faith. They're allowing fear. We idolize fear, man. We're, we're taught, we're groomed. This matrix has taught us to idolize fear. Submit, listen. You do it this way, you do it that way, you do it this way, you do it that way. And if you don't, this is what's going to happen to you. You see, the word of God challenges all that when you begin to walk in faith. You begin to walk boldly. God starts to show you, watch this. I know this world saying this, but watch this. If you obey my voice, you obey my instructions. You, everyone has a personal relationship, like I said. So everybody, you should have a personal relationship. So everybody's going to look a little bit different, right? But when you start to obey that, God's going to show you. He's going to start showing you. The more that you put your faith into him and allow it to punch fear in the mouth, he's going to start showing you, you know, all that he can do for you on this planet. And the faith goes deeper and deeper and deeper. The levels of faith goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's where we need to get. You know, and I had to, like I said, I had to go through it to get to it, man. It's not, it's not, a lot of people don't, they, they won't sign up for this, but they want what you want. They want what you have. They won't sign up for the anointing. They'll sign up for the anointing, but the minute they start having to do certain things, right? God has to put you through, through certain tests and certain fires that are hot. That's when they back out. And then they become your enemies when they realize that you're, you're, you're still going. You're still walking in that faith. They tried everything to get you out of it. You're still walking in that faith. You're still speaking with confidence. You're still showing up. You're still, you know, um, getting back up when you fail. You're still repenting. You're still taking accountability. You're still letting him use you. And you see these people, a lot of your enemies, secret frenemies, got put in the fire themselves and it got a little too hot for them and they got out and they went back into the matrix. And they allowed and they started to idolize fear and submit to fear and manipulation and control again. Because yes, I'm not going to say I understand. That's another thing. I understand. I don't try to make people feel bad. I understand it's hard. Especially in this world, it's hard. Not everybody's built for this. Many are called, few are chosen. Not everybody's built for this, man. And it's just a fact. It's just the truth. Salvation is a free gift. You can completely be saved, you know, and um, you know, make it into eternity if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, and you stay in obedient. And you just kind of keep to yourself, no doubt about it. But if you want to leave a legacy behind for God, if you want to do something that your family or nobody else around you has ever seen, it's going to take a little bit more than that. You know, we got to really allow God to get us into that state, you know, and sometimes it, it takes, you know, it's, it's ugly. It's ugly, man. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it. It's all worth it, man. The more that you conquer fear in your life, the more that you're going to receive breakthrough. That's the message. Like I said, I try to just let the spirit flow. Hopefully it motivates, edifies. You know, a lot of the times I feel like I watch my stuff back and I'm like, man, I guess, you know, and um, God told me to come on here and, and just flow, you know, about fear. So, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this and st stay to the end of this video, please smash the like button, hit subscribe, the notification bell, because you know how these platforms are. So, every time I upload, you get notified. Go check me out on all platforms. Like I said, I appreciate you guys for being here, you know, um, through some really bumpy times in my life, you know, allowing God to use you to speak into me and stuff like that. And I want to, you know, do that for others. So, I thank you guys. Let's get the message out, man. You guys can do your part by just, like I said, hitting the like button sharing it on other platforms because i don't have any other social media platforms so if you want to share it to your friends your family whoever needs to hear it anybody you may, may know that's struggling with fear right now go ahead and share it i would appreciate it you know and um i love you guys say a prayer for your brothers say a prayer for your sisters say a prayer for yourself you already know what it is until next time man it's your boy king justice